everybody, Frisco High School Raccoons. My name is Ty Davis and I'm your Associate Principal. I'm here to support all students here at Frisco High School. So if there's anything you ever need, please come on in to see me. My door is always open. I want to share with you a couple of things. First, I'm going to talk to you about plagiarism and cheating and a little bit about academic dishonesty. Plagiarism and cheating interfere with the assessment and feedback process that is necessary in order to promote academic growth. Education is based on learning specific skills, forming lifelong work habits, and developing mature coping skills according to each student's unique abilities. Stress sometimes propels students to make unethical choices. Students are expected to produce their own work except on projects designated by the teacher as cooperative efforts. Teachers will indicate which assignments are to be cooperative efforts and will establish guidelines for the use of such aids as calculators, computers, word processors, and published study guides. If a student is in doubt about the ethical standards applicable to a particular situation, the student is responsible for clarifying the matter with the teacher. Remember, each student is responsible for securing his or her own work. Academic dishonesty may impact a student's ability to join or remain a member of academic honor societies. The teacher will notify the parent and assistant principal of any student who is caught plagiarizing or cheating. When work is plagiarized or copied from another student, one or both of the students may be penalized. Hello, welcome back students to Frisco High School. My name is Troy Hart. I'm one of the assistant principals. I have students with the last names that begin A through C. I uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about cell phones. For safety purposes, the district permits students to possess cellular devices. However, these devices must remain turned off and out of sight during the instructional day, including during testing, unless they are being used for instructional purposes, which are approved by a teacher. Students who violate electronic device rules will be issued consequences. Welcome new and returning students. I'm Ms. McNeil, the Assistant Principal for Alphas D through KH. Today I want to speak to you about school parking. If you will be parking your car here on campus, you must have a valid driver's license and car insurance. You will also need to purchase a parking sticker for your vehicle. The sticker fee is $50 for the year or $30 for the semester and can be paid through your My Online Fees account. You have until Friday, September 25th to purchase your sticker. If you forget to purchase a parking sticker, there are consequences. You will be assessed a $10 fee for the first two violations. After that, a $15 fee will be charged. All parking fees will be attached to your My Online Fees account. For school safety purposes, it's important that we know who's parking on campus. So please purchase and properly display your parking sticker. If you have any questions regarding parking, there is information regarding parking located on the Frisco High School website, or you can speak with your Alpha's assistant principal. Hello fellow raccoons, my name is Mr. Owens, and I'm new to Frisco High School. I'm an AP for students whose last name is K-I through Q, and I really look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Hey, welcome to Frisco High School. I'm John Betcher. I'm an assistant principal and I have R through Z so if any of you have a problem you can come see me but I'll be talking to R through Z. My office area is right here by the library. We call it the North Office. Now my part of this is going to be talking about these things. These things are exterior doors. There's a sign on them that says welcome go through the front office these doors remain locked at all times some students need to run to their car during the school day no some students want to run out and get something and come back in the building see that's called the key and the key is what will open it not a rock not the carpet not your book bag we do not prop doors open no matter what do not prop outside doors open the only time you should be going outside the building during the day is when you're going to our out buildings. That's the egg shop and the indoor facility. Or if you're leaving to go to the CTE center. When you come back from the CTE center, you enter through the front door. So you won't need to prop the door. Another one of my duties is transportation. Now, those of you who ride a bus to school and to home, I'm standing in the bus lane. Do not play in the bus lane. That's where the buses go. 
That's why they call it a bus lane. The buses are going to pull up in the morning. They'll drop you off directly in front. You're to go inside the building and straight to your first period class. Now, at the end of the school day, the buses will arrive here and they will stretch from the gym all the way down to the library. So in order to find your bus, what you need to do, you need to start at the gym and walk all the way to the library looking for your bus number. Make sure you check online what your bus is. Be at your bus stop five minutes early in the mornings. Those of you who are leaving during the day to go to the CTE Center, that bus is bus 66 and it picks you up right here. Like right here, exactly here. The CTE bus in the morning, if you ride it over for first period, picks you up and leaves at 8.15. So it leaves here at 8.15. All the other times between first, second, second, third, third, and fourth, it will pick you up in front of the building. So if you have an X class, that's a class at the CTE Center, after you leave, say you have one on second period, first period ends, you come directly out here, get on the bus, and wear a mask. Then you ride the bus to the CTE Center, and the bus will bring you back here. It's, it's a very simple process. We're trying not to make it too complex. Now, I've been going to school for a long time. Why, the buses back in my day were horse-drawn wagons. Not that long. But I remember lunchtime. Lunch was my favorite time. Because in my school, we got up, we left school, we jumped in the Ford Pinto and we drove like mad to the house. We ran inside, we boiled water, we ate our boiling bags, and then we got back in the Pinto and we drove back to school. But keep in mind, that's off-campus lunch. We do not have off-campus lunch. Sometimes students will leave the building to thinking they're gonna run to Chick-fil-A and back, not allowed. You don't leave the building, run to lunch and come back. The other is sometimes students rendezvous with strangers. They'll secretly meet them at the back of the building. They'll prop open the door. We covered that already. And then they'll go out and they'll meet with a stranger and they'll get a package from the stranger. And then they'll come back in the building. That's not allowed. Do not order food deliveries. If, if a food delivery comes to the front, they aren't able to get in. We send them away. We don't keep the food, we send it away. So don't be ordering Uber Eats, don't be meeting with people behind the building to get your sandwich. You may not leave the building except to go to the indoor facility or the ag building. We want to keep you safe and that's how we're going to do it. Hey there raccoons, it's Ms. Casares from the counselor's office. Welcome back to the 2021 school year. We're so excited to get this started. We know you've been going with your classes for a couple of weeks now and we hope that's been going great. It's gonna look a little bit different to come visit the counselors this year. You're gonna wanna make sure that you sign up to see us. Your teachers should all have a sign up sheet in their room and you can also access the links on the FHS website. We will not have any walk-in appointments, so you have to make sure to use the QR codes or link on the website to sign up. And then counselors will reach out to set up either an email, phone, Zoom, or face-to-face -face conference with you. Make sure if it's an emergency or crisis situation that you talk to any adult that's near you so that they can help assist you and get you the care that you need. So that would be any safety concerns. Again, thanks so much for listening, and we can't wait to help you through this school year, and welcome back. Raccoons, we're so happy to have you back. My name is Mrs. Harrison. I am counselor for students last name BL through GO. And I'm here just to talk about why do you wanna sign up to see your counselor? Well, we're here to help with really just about anything. Uh, need some advice, uh, have a question about a class or life, friend, anything. Um, academic planning, we're here for it all. So sign up to see us, we're here to help you. Glad you're back. Hi everyone, welcome back to this year and one big thing we want to make sure you do is get connected. So as you can see behind me, we usually have an, a wall back here that has all of our club and organization information. 
We don't know how that's gonna look this year. So just be watching for that. We will email information. We'll put things in our newsletters. So one big thing is to get connected and always ask your counselor for questions. Thanks so much. Hey Raccoons, I'm Mrs. Robinson. I work with the students with the last names Martinez through RO. Welcome back to a new school year. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about pre-AP, AP drops. There's two times where you can drop those courses. The first time will be at the end of the first six weeks, and then the last time will be at semester. Be looking, be looking for emails and instructions on how to drop those classes, but again, no pre-AP or AP drops are allowed until at the end of the first six weeks. Have a great year. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Chandler, and I just wanted to share a bit of info with you that you might find helpful. This year, the counseling department will still do our grade-specific classroom guidance presentations. However, they will be virtual. This is a great opportunity to view them as a family. The senior guidance was just emailed out, and then we will continue to work through the other grades and send out um, juniors next, then sophomores, um, and then the freshman guidance. To stay informed um, of your class-specific information, please be sure to join the Remind group, which is included in the classroom guidance presentations. As always, we recommend uh, checking our website for updated information and resources, and please reach out to your FHS counselors with any questions or concerns. We are happy uh, to have you here and happy to be working with you. We wish you a great year. Hi, I'm Jessica Mitchell, the College and Career Counselor from Collin College. I'm here to help students in any grade level with any plans that they may have after high school. That includes, but isn't limited to, dual credit, the college application process, scholarships, and financial aid. I'm located in room B207, and I'm here every Monday, every Tuesday, and Fridays that fall on A days. You can sign up to meet with me by using the sign-up sheets that are located in your teacher's classrooms or by visiting the counseling website on the Frisco High School page. I look forward to working with you and have a great school year. Hi, my name is Jenna Gates and I'm one of the assistant principals. My job responsibilities are a little different than the other APs in that I will be developing and coordinating two programs here at Frisco High School. I will be responsible for AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination, and the IB, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. My office is near the Lake Gate, so come see me if I can help you with anything. Hi, I'm Officer Kim with the Frisco Police Department. I'm excited to be back at Frisco High School as the school resource officer. I hope everyone had a great summer. To all the incoming freshmen and new students, welcome to Frisco High School. I hope everyone is ready for a fantastic and safe upcoming school year. My primary function as the SRO will be working with the school administrators to keep you and the staff safe. My secondary function will be to investigate criminal offenses that occur on campus. But hopefully that's something I won't have to worry about too much. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns during the school year. I'm here for you. Frisco High School does have a dress code. If you are called out by a teacher or AP, you may be sent to the office for a change of clothes. For example, clothing should be worn for the purpose for which it was designed. No undergarments or pajama are to be worn as outerwear. Clothing must be modest in style, length, and fit to cover all underclothing at all times, whether in standing or sitting position. Sunglasses, caps, hats, raised hoods, and any other covering that can conceal the face from clear view are not permitted to be worn in the building. Jeans, slacks, shorts, and all other pants must be worn at or about the waist at all times. Even if a shirt is extremely long, the pants must be worn at the waist. Undergarments should not be visible at any time. Tears, frays, or ragged edges and holes may only be below the buttocks and pelvic region at all times. See-through, bare midriff, halter type, strapless, or spaghetti strap blouses or any revealing or low-cut clothing is not permitted. Shoes must be worn. All shoes must have a hard sole. Tennis shoes must be worn in physical education classes. Shoes with wheels are not allowed. Shorts, including athletic shorts, must extend beyond the buttocks and pelvic region at all times. Underwear type sleeveless shirts, athletic tank tops, and jerseys with large armholes, beachwear, swimwear, halter tops, and tube tops are not appropriate or acceptable. Shoulder straps on tops and other clothing must be a minimum of two inches in width and must cover the undergarments. 
If tights, leggings, or other form-fitting pants are worn, the buttocks and pelvic region must be covered at all times by a dress, shirt, skirt, or shorts. Blankets and pillows are prohibited at Frisco High School. Students need to refer to the district student handbook as well as the FHS student handbook if they have additional questions. If you abide by the dress code, you'll stay out of the office. For Frisco High School, I'm Carter Lawson.